YouTube today we're going to talk about I saw a bee today I for sure thought those things were extinct so that's good just checking to make sure it wasn't behind me still <laughs> hello YouTube yes you did read the title correctly I went to Denmark and I went to Denmark to see the love of my life Taylor Hale not my wife life oh, well we don't know yet but well actually we do not yet but or maybe not at all Woo. Now, by the way, I have a new channel where I'll be discussing my relationship with Taylor, but not really specifically with Taylor. It'd be a little weird, but just, you know, being my age and finding whatever. Doesn't matter. Michael Christie, that's the other channel. Check that out if you want. But long story short, I went to Denmark recently, had a lovely time, and I shot a vlog, but I didn't film the whole thing. So I figured none other than USA Michael can fill in what Denmark Michael missed. So this is what I packed, and then I'll just show you some of my stuff, but I'll show you what I packed, why I packed it, and then what I would bring the next time. Because if you've never been to Denmark, there's a lot of things that you should know. Sorry, ignore me taking out my trash. Chris and Meg, my neighbors, told me that I, yeah, I really should do that especially before I leave for a week today's the first day ever I'm leaving the country so follow me a white trash carrying out a piece of white trash here we go hot tip if you need to go outside and toss the trash out and you're filming a video and you don't want people to think you're nuts because there's no camera in sight just put in airpods people will think you're on the phone never gonna be a big deal after that part one what bags did I bring to Denmark okay next up is bags can you tell I'm gonna be a little late for my flights well actually wait I should preface this by saying I, this is not one of those videos where someone's like, I went to Denmark for five days and I know everything. I don't know a lot. This is an aluminum suitcase from the company Away. It is not the smallest one, the second smallest one, because I figured I can usually, if I'm going to be traveling for like a week, this will do fine. I did this wrong. I will admit it and I will explain why later. This was a very dumb way to be efficient in my bagging endeavors. This guy... It's from Ship John, which I really like. It's an incredible company. It reminds me of a Filson bag, but just, I really wanted something with natural leather that will age over time and look cooler. So I snagged this. This is my carry-on. And then, and then this Filson bag is my underseat bag, which is actually really great. And there's a big, like, gash in it. Part two is what did I put in those bags exactly? This is my iPad. I'm going to do two things. One is I'm going to log into Writer Duet, which is where I write all my scripts. Not scripts for the snail. Snail's not really scripted at all. So this is for uh, when I become big and famous. So now I need to download at least two movies, I think, for this drive. Believe it or not, I, uh, I forgot to turn the microphone on, so I'm packed. That was fun, wasn't it? Whoops, sorry about that. Pack this, I will, well, I'll show you what it looked like. I'll show you everything when I came back. So, Michael, I hope you had a good trip. What did you bring on the trip? My basic methodology with Denmark was the climate there is never really extremely hot or extremely cold, so you can pack pretty simply, although it was cold when I went. But the interesting thing is it is always sloppy and wet. I tried to prepare for the water, but not a downpour. Boots that are okay in the rain, they don't have to be in puddles or anything like that, but they'll keep my feet dry in the rain. And then I need a raincoat. And those were the two most important things. Oh, and wool socks, just in case my feet did get wet, they would stay warm. Okay, I think that's good. Taylor's list of things that she says do not exist in Denmark. Glide floss, Sonicare toothbrush heads, Act mouthwash, mini chocolate chips. Okay, so like I said, I think we have enough room. This is the test. Oops, uh-oh, that's not a good... Ugh. Done. Done. Cool. One of the most important shots on my vlog list was to, when I'm coming off the plane, and I'm saying, hello, Taylor, how are you? I wanted to film that so I could see you know, like the really happy moment looking back. Well, I messed that up. I totally ruined the moment and I pressed record and then stopped for some reason. This is all we got, guys. Thank you. Uh-oh, watch it. I'm gonna drop your water. This is for you. Oh, thank you. So there it is, you little voyeurs. Well, oh, you can see me walking. Look, there I go. Hey, Taylor. How's it going? Didn't see you in a while. 
dumb. Anyways, the second thing I brought were two barber jackets. One I just wanted to test out, the other one is my old trusty Dusty, but they both fared great. They would both do fine in the rain. Barbers are totally fine in the rain. I don't regret that at all. When I come to the list of what I would bring instead, it's more just based on I really like new technology, so nothing wrong with a barber. I highly suggest you get a barber hood though. In case you're wondering, yes, I did think about what if these shoes are actually not comfortable and I get horrible blisters on this trip? Uh, I just decided that's something that if it has to happen, it has to happen. For the most part, besides one thing, which was kind of sucky, right off the bat, they were perfect. They had very little break in time. It did rain a lot in Denmark. My feet stayed dry. Um, they were very, very comfy from the get-go. My feet didn't get sore. The only inconvenient part is you'll see the two tabs on the back. See how one is gone? I went to pull my boot on one day, not excessively hard, and it ripped off. So that really sucked. I would assume that's just a defect and that's not how it comes. The other boot I tried to pull really, really hard on to see if I can get the tab off. And I did hear a stitch rip, so if I pulled really, really hard, I could definitely break the stitch. I'm wearing Blundstones with tabs right now. Ugh. And I don't think I'd be able to get those off. Okay, here's my, whoops, oh, this is it. And it's time I go. I'll bring this camera and a mic, but I don't want to film too, too much because it's vacation. This is the rest of what I brought. It, I don't need to go over everything specifically, but two wool sweaters, two cotton sweaters. My reason being, wool sweaters are warmer than cotton sweaters, and if it's wet, they'll keep me warmer throughout the day. Why are you looking so creepy? Pair of jeans, pair of white workers' pants, pair of dickies, and five t-shirts. I usually would just bring a pair of jeans, but I, Taylor said I was kind of going on a press tour to meet all of her friends. I was nervous. I wanted to dress cool. I wanted to look cool. I wanted to look hot. So I brought a bunch of different pants, and I wore this all white outfit, which was a big move. Oh, so far, um, we're doing great. I'm running very late, and based off the traffic, I will continue to be doing that. I have to get Taylor's stuff, but either way, I'm leaving the freaking country! I'm going to Denmark, baby! Everybody's nice there! I got Taylor Act Mouthwash for her request. Glide toothpaste. Um, you know, Glide toothpaste. And then, toothbrush heads. They didn't have Ghirardelli semi-sweet morsels minis. I even, I said to the guy, excuse me, sir, I'm so sorry. Do you happen to have Ghirardelli semi-sweet morsels mini? And he was like, yeah, we got a lot of chocolate chips over there. And I was like, so I'm trying to find mini morsels for the princess of Denmark. Regular size is absolutely fine. I don't care at all what size they are. And oh. You don't grab them if it's an inconvenience. Regular size is fine, since when is that? I'll do my biggest regrets or what I should have changed first, and then I'll do what I didn't bring but definitely did need to bring second, because that's that's a bit more intensive. But the first thing, the dumb thing that will go over very quickly is like I said, I brought a suit, am I, should I keep going back, back here? I brought a carry-on size suitcase, a carry-on size duffel, and then a laptop bag. I should have just brought a medium size suitcase, and what I did was I checked in one carry-on, and then the other one I brought on the plane. I don't know why I did that. Oh my God, there's a deer. Hold on, switching to iPhone mode so you could see. Can you see it? Right there. The other thing, while we're on the topic of bags, is I have this really cool I Sandqvist. I don't know how to say it, but S-A-N-D-Q-V-I-S-T. I, I should have brought that bag. I highly suggest you get a waterproof bag from a company like Rains, which I saw a lot in Denmark. Fial Raven, which makes sense, I saw a lot in Denmark. And then also the North Face Fuse Box is a gorgeous backpack that is also very water resistant. I highly, highly suggest you bring one of those if you plan on bringing anything with you outside because it just, it looks like it's gonna rain all the time. Sorry, hold on one second. I forgot something, guys. The other thing that I meant to say before I left this spot was, um, I, like I said, I brought two wool sweaters and two cotton sweaters. I would not have done that again. It was just, like I said, I wanted to show off and look cool to Taylor's friends, look at my sweater collection, isn't that sexy? The thing that I should have brought that I did not was, it was colder than I thought, so I would still want the wool sweater, but I would also want a heavy base layer that I can put on underneath the wool sweater. Okay, I got it. I gotta get ready to go now. I can't miss the, you know, the big point of all this, which is the plane. Oh, ask me, it sucks. I usually have a mic, I forgot. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to be putting the chocolate chips into the suitcase. 
Do you understand? The other thing that I did wrong was I brought a rain jacket to keep my top half dry, but forgot about my bottom half. And that's because I don't commute on my bike anywhere, so if it's raining, I just, you know, I walk and my pants get a little bit wet. But if you're on a bike or something like that, obviously you get soaked. So rain pants, if you plan on biking around Copenhagen, necessity. And you'll notice if it starts raining, everybody in Denmark stops, they stand perfectly straight, and then they reach into their backpack and they pull out rain pants and you just hear nylon all around the city. Now I'll be putting the mouthwash into the suitcase. For we'll do a two for one here. I'll put a title card up for the people that scroll through things really fast. The other thing though I would have gotten is a pair of gloves. I, ha I actually gave Taylor a pair of leather gloves with a wool liner on the inside, so I was fine. I borrowed those, but if you're going there without Taylor or someone that you lent gloves to that lives in Denmark, you definitely need to get gloves. And you should get mittens or something like that because it's really cold and mittens keep you much warmer. I want to get mittens from Hestra just because they're like the gold standard in mitten making, but you should be fine with most anything as long as it has good wind resistance, good water resistance, or waterproofness, and some insulatory properties depending on what time of year you go. Now I'm gonna put the floss and the toothbrush heads into the... <sighs> These I think are buttercups. Did any of you have some weird girl in your like preschool class that would pick one? and put it under your chin and announce if you like butter or not. Anyways though, the last thing that I would recommend isn't something that you need if you're, well, I, it is something that you need, but it is this cool, it's not like a helmet. It basically, if you fall off your bike, it explodes, which sounds like a really bad thing. It's actually not. It explodes around your head and protects you from the ground. And Taylor actually demo tested it before I got there and fell off her bike onto this like wooden plank and this thing exploded around her head and she said everybody ran over and was like oh my god that was amazing that was so cool oh also are you okay I can't believe your head just exploded and saved your life but anyways that's about it if you're thinking about going to Denmark I highly recommend you do especially if Taylor's there because she really has a knack for making things really nice in your life Taylor is just I'll talk about this on my other channel but Taylor's just my best friend she's my best friend in the entire world. It's a very nice feeling. Passengers in groups D and E. Groups D and E are welcome to board and board the aircraft.